what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Man, we lost another soldier today. Fresh Kid Ice from the Two Live crew. He was one of the rappers alongside Marquise and, and Luke for many, many years doing their thing. We actually toured with them on a number of occasions. I just got off the phone with their manager, Debo, and yeah, he told me, yeah, it was, it was, it was true. It's always shocking to hear about the death of somebody that you, you know, you know, and, and especially so young, man, dude was only 53 years old. A lot of, a lot of my contemporaries are falling off. Now, Debo said that the cause of death had something to do with his kidneys and liver. So, and he's been fighting. He's been fighting for a long time. I don't know exactly how much of that was due to lifestyle, you know, what he was eating or whatever. But I do know that we need to take care of ourselves. Because I'm, I'm actually stepping it up. Every time I hear about somebody dying, man, I go straight to the gym. <laughs> Change my diet. But yeah, that's crazy. I got so many memories of the Two Live Crew, man. So many memories. So many memories <laughs> of being out on the road. Y'all can imagine. Just close your eyes and imagine the Ghetto Boys and Two Live Crew not only performing together on the same stage, but being infused with the same backstage area shenanigans and hotel. Just think about that for a minute. The hotels and the after parties and ghetto boys and two live crew. We had some fun times, man. But yeah, that's a tough one, man. We just lost Prodigy. It seemed like it was yesterday, but I know it was only, it really was, what was it, maybe a couple weeks ago? We lost Prodigy. Man, a lot of people who I came up with are like dying. It's crazy. Remember 27 years ago, it was 27 years ago when, in 1990, when Luke and Two Live Crew, all these guys, they were fighting obscenity charges. Unlike today's rappers, they wasn't in court for assault or DWI or weapons charges. They were in court for obscenity charges. They were defending their First Amendment rights to free speech. The Two Live Crew was the first group to be named legally obscene by the U.S. government. And at the same time, in the same year, the Ghetto Boys was the first group to be denied distribution by our distribution company based on obscenity. And that was crazy because at the same time that they were denying Ghetto Boys distribution, they were allowing the press and distribution of other groups who were saying some things that were considered to be obscene. And that's another thing too, like, you know, what exactly what is obscene? What's offensive? It's a personal choice. It's all about who's listening. Everybody got a personal opinion about what's obscene to them. Now, of course, y'all know we got some some words that are pretty much universally accepted as obscene. Okay, I'm not going to play dumb. But there are some things that you can say that some people just feel like because they don't like what, what's being said, they're going to try to shut you down. And that's what happened. We had a whole lot of people come at us and 
these were the same people coming at the two live crew and they held their ground. And it is because of two live crew that a lot of artists today are able to say whatever they want to say, whether you agree with it or not. But yeah, man, uh, salute. My condolences to the family. Ice, rest in power. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.